One day he was going with his horses and his men and armies. And an ant, and a lot of you would have heard this and you know of it. There is an ant. You know the ant, the little ant? The ant told the rest of ants, say, get inside your homes, dip quickly. Because Suleiman and his horses and his armies, they will crush you. Get down in your place of abode. And then Suleiman, alayhi salatu was salam, remember he spoke the language. He understood. Keep thinking about it. He heard this, the speaking of a little ant. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of bounties he was blessed with. Uh huh. He heard the ant saying that. Solomon, the great king and his armies are coming. They're going to crush you. Get down. And he just smiled. You know, the Quran verse says he smiled. He just smiled. And did he say, you see who I am? Did he turn around and tell his armies, you see what it is? Everybody afraid of me. I am the wealthy man in town. I got position. I'm the boss. I know it all. I have it all. I am... He didn't do that. Hear what he did. And those of us who don't remember this verse, chapter 27, verse 19, at the Al-Hikmat Dawa table, you could get the khutbah for free. We just ask you to put a donation so we could give other people for free also, inshallah. Hear what he said when the ant said that. Rabbi awzi'ni an ashkura ni'matak. Allahu Akbar. When the ant said that and he heard what the ant said, he immediately prayed to Allah. He immediately prayed to Allah and he said, Oh Allah, awzi'ni an ashkura ni'matik. He said, Allah, order me. Command me. Not just remind me, you know. He's telling Allah, I want you, Allah, to make me that person that I will always be thankful to you. Allahu Akbar. He didn't talk about how great he is and what he has. He didn't even look at who he is. He was like, oh Allah, please let me be that person who will always thank you, Allah. See? And the word is very clear. It's not an ashkura. Shukur. Make me that person that will always be thankful to you, Allah, for ni'matak, for your ni'mah and your bounties and favors. And that's what I'm telling you and myself here today, brothers and sisters. Let us be that kind of person. Don't just be a thanksgiving person looking to go buy things on a shopping. It's not all about taking the worldly opportunities. If you get it cheap, take it. And I don't say no. But don't miss your Juma for it. Don't miss your Fajr for it. Don't miss your Salah for it. Got a deal, make use of it. That's what it's all about. But don't forget to thank Allah. So he's asking Allah when the ant said that, he doesn't look at himself, who I am. You know, today when people get a little chip on their shoulder and they've got a little doctorate title, uh, a little LLB and a little ASS. What you said ASS mean? Brother, I said, what is ASS? Brother, that told me it's some degree of an associate of social degrees or something. I don't know what it is. And what the dictionary says, whatever. A little chip, a little PhD, and we're all about ourselves and who we are and what we are and what we have earned. And my children own this and this is me and this is my family and this is... We can't even be the ant. We can't even be the little ant that spoke on Sulaiman alayhi salatu was salam her, her, her speech. And what he did was turn to Allah. Make me that person that will always make your shukr and your thanks. That's the kind of people. That's what Allah and why Allah made him greater and greater and greater and gave him more bounties and bounties and favors. And this is a dua. So you go check it. Verse 19, chapter 27. It's a nice dua. And then the dua continues. Allati an amta al alayya wa ala walidayya wa an amala salihan tarallahu wa adkhilni bi rahmatik. Fi ibadika salihin. Allahu Akbar. And not only did he say, make me one who would always make your thanks. He says, and he asks Allah, and he tells Allah, I want to be one to always thank you because of the ni'mah and because of the favors that you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents. You see, he brings it in. Wa Allahu Akbar. 
as big and great as Sulaiman alayhi salatu was salam was. You see a lot of people again, I tell you this and I tell myself, today I am this, today I am that. He made dua for his parents, Allahu Akbar, in the dua. Wa ala walidayya. The bounty is Allah. He's asking Allah, make me someone that will always remember to thank you for your bounties and thank you for my parents. Oh, this is a deep verse, a deep dua, a powerful dua. Very powerful, very spiritual, very powerful, very deep. And he asked Allah to make him someone that will always do righteous deeds. You see, sometimes when you have power and you have authority, you tend not to do righteous deeds. We tend to abuse the power. We tend to abuse the, power, the money. We tend to abuse the authority. We tend to abuse that bossy, authority, wealthy thing that Allah has blessed us with. But here he's asking us, asking Allah, make me one who will always do your thanks. Make me one who will always remember my parents and thank you for my parents. Make me one who will always do righteous deeds. And deeds that will please you, Allah. Do such works that you will be pleased, that Allah, that you will be ravi with. You will be pleased with. Wad khilni bi rahmatik. And admit me by your rahmah, ya Allah. Admit me by your rahmah. Accept me by your mercy, ya Allah. Because he's accepting that everything that he has, he has to be grateful to Allah because it's from the rahmah of Allah. Fi ibadika salihin. And he's asking Allah to make him amongst the people who are the righteous ones, salihin. Sometimes a lot of us, you know, we make dua, ya Allah. I want to get that car, you know. It's a nice car. So I want a good job so I could buy it. I like that big house across there. I want to get that. I want it. How many of us make dua and ask Allah, Ya Allah, make me from amongst the Salihin. Ya Allah, make me from amongst the righteous people. Here, yes, Sulaiman alayhi the powerful king that the Jews and the Christians and the world respect as a king, Solomon. We call him. Prophet, Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Huh? And he's asking Allah to be amongst the righteous. And he's asking Allah to always remind me to be make this dua. That I will never forget to ask you to be amongst the righteous. Today a lot of us, when we pray salah, it's only when we ask for what we want. We don't even ask to be righteous. We don't even ask for ourselves to be righteous. For us to be amongst the righteous. It's a sad time. And that's why I wanted to remind myself, remind you of these verses in the Quran. He heard the ant speak and instead of he become arrogant and proud about who he is, he's like, Allah, please make me always be thankful to you. 